Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be filming another updated bookshelf tour because I know I did one recently but I didn't update it and I just got some new books and so I wanted to give you guys an update so this is going to be another part one or part two of my bookshelf tour so over here as you guys can see this is my TBR shelf I apologize for the bad quality because I'm filming from my iPhone and I can't zoom in but I will get closer, don't worry. So I'll tell you guys how I separated these. So as you can see, that pile right there, and there's a pile in back, these are my standalone books. Well, at least I think they're standalones. I'm pretty sure most of them are. I'm not sure if some of them are companions or anything like that. But yes, yeah, so I, these are my standalones. And then this pile right here, and this pile and the one in back of it, these are all my books that are like the first book in the series or the first two books in the series and I haven't read these yet either. So we're going to start over here first. So as you guys can see down there all the way down, the book is Grimm by, edited by Christine Johnson. This is actually an arc I got a while ago from Harlequin Teen. It says on sale March 2014, but I didn't even get to read it yet, so I know I'm really late, and I've seen the final copy, and I think it's really cool. It's a lot different than that, than this. But, yeah, it's, if you guys are wondering, it is a bunch of stories written by authors, like each author wrote a short story about a fairy tale retelling, and so yeah, I just didn't get to read it yet, but hopefully I will soon. And then right above here we have Be Sweet by Alex Flynn. This is a retail and a Beauty and the Beast. I haven't read it yet, but it sounds really good. Then up here we have The Frog Prince by Jane Porter. This is also another fairy tale retelling, I think, of The Frog Prince, and yeah. I don't know too much about it. I bought it at a used bookstore for a dollar, and so I don't know. It sounded cute because I love The Frog Prince. It's probably one of my favorite like, fairy tales, so yeah. Up here we have some two books by Ellen Hildebrand. Ellen Hildebrand. This one's Beautiful Day, and then the one above it is The Castaways. If I want to read these books, they're like beach reads, and I just love beach reads, and they just sound really good. They're adult books, so like, yeah. Then up here we have a book from Sophie Kinsella. I've got your number. I love Sophie. It's I love Sophie Kinsella. Her books are so funny and awesome, and this book sounds really good. It's basically about a girl who finds a guy's phone. So it sounds really good. Then above it we have Raisin Savannah by Miranda Keneally, Keneally, I don't know how to pronounce what else is that's name. I loved her first book, Catching Jordan. I don't have the other two books, but I wanted Raisin Savannah because it sounded really good because it's about a girl who works at like a horse farm and I don't know. It just sounded really good. I just haven't gotten to read it yet. Then up here we have the Express Expressologist by I'm sorry, I forgot the author's first name. Oh, Christina Springer. And just so you guys know, I will put the links to all these books. I'll put the Goodreads links to all these books I mentioned in the description bar. So if you guys want to check out the books, I'll have the links for you there. This book sounds really cute. It's about a girl who can like read people's fortunes or something about like the coffees they order so she can see it and the drinks they order. Next we have my Sister's Keeper by Jodi Picoult. This book sounds really good. As you guys know, it's a movie. It's about, I think it's about cancer. It says, haven't gotten to read it yet. Then we have Hooked by Katherine Greenman. This book has been on my TBR for a long time. It's basically just about a girl, a teenage girl who's, who gets pregnant. And I thought it sounded really good. And then up here we have A Match Made in High School by Kristen Walker. It, this book sounds really good. It's about... It's about this high school where they have a marriage project and the main character ends up being partners with this huge jerk and a snobby girl gets to be partnered up with the main character's crush, so it sounds really cool. Next we have What It Happens by Suzanne Calasanti. This sounds really good. I want to read all her books. I have never read a book from her before, but it seems like a really cute contemporary. I don't know too much about it, though. I mean, I did, but I forgot, so I'm sorry. But yeah, if you want to know what these are about, just check them out on Goodreads. Next, we have I Captured the Castle by Dodie Smith. This I think this is like a, a classic book. I don't know too much about it either, but it's about a girl who's in a castle and she writes in a journal. So I thought it sounded pretty interesting because I love books that take place in castles. 
Then up here we have Nick and Norris If in a playlist by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. As you guys could tell, this is, as you guys probably know, this is a movie. I read Dash and Wally's Book of Dares and I really enjoyed it. So I hope I like this one. So yeah. Then right here we have a little How I Spy Middle School book, The New Girl. I love this series. I read this series when I was in middle school. I'm a little old for it now, but I'm not sure when I'm going to get to this book. So yeah. As you guys could probably hear my dog growl. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys the books that are in this pile first. So for right here we have The Wide Awake Princess by Edie Baker. If you guys didn't already know, Edie Baker is one of my favorite authors of all time because she wrote my favorite series, which is the Frog Princess series. And I love that series so much because it's a retelling of the Frog Prince and Edie Baker writes amazing fairy tale retellings. And so this one's about sleep, sleep and beauty, so it sounds really cute. I think it's middle grade, by the way. Next, we have The Edge of Never by J.A. Redmersky. This is actually a new adult novel. I uh, don't know where it's... I forgot what this book's about. I think a girl goes on a road trip or something like that, but I forgot. So, I'm sorry, guys, but you can pick up on Goodreads, okay? So, next, we have Perfect Chemistry by Simone Elkeles. I've had this book... Okay, I've had, I've had this book on my shelf for over a year and I know I really need to read it, and it sounds really good. It's like a contemporary love story, and this is a companion series. And it's based on like these three brothers and each of their love stories. So it sounds really good. And then we have Hereafter by Tara Hudson. This book has been this book has been on my TBR for a long time too. It's basically about a girl. I think she's a ghost, and she lives she lives underwater. And I heard it's very mysterious, but it sounds really cool. So, yeah. So, next we're going to move on to this over here. So, so, like I said before, these are either the first book in a series or the second book. So, it's, it's like the first and second. So, right down here, we have Need by Carrie Jones. Another book that's been on my TBR list for a long time. I don't, I forgot what this book's about. I know it's about pixies. Then we have Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. I heard this book as well, like Twilight, but it's about angels. Then we have Wildfire by Carson Knight. It sounds really creepy and creepy and mysterious. It's about this girl who, um, she goes to a boarding school in the woods, and I think her sister ends up being a killer or something like that. Then we have Born at Midnight by C.C. Hunter. This book has been in my TBR forever. It's a par I think it's a paranormal series about a girl who goes to like, this camp for, like, people with powers. And I don't know. It sounds really good. Now that not, I think about it, it sounds similar to The Darkest Mind, but, but I don't think this is dystopian. It's more paranormal. Next we have Vesper by Jeff Sampson, another book that's been on my TBR forever. Uh, sounds really interesting. It's about this girl who's like a normal girl. She's like a geek in high school. And at night, I guess she ends up being like a completely different person than she usually is. I think like there's like a mystery where it's like she kills people, but she doesn't know it. I don't know, but it sounds really good. Then up here we have Sweet Evil by Wendy Higgins. You guys probably know this book since it's popular in booktube. Oops, it sounds really good. It's about like angels and demons. Then we have Bras and Brooms just by Sarah Minelsky. This book sounds really funny because I know it's about the main character. She's a witch. And I read, I read Sarah's other book, 10 Things We Did and Probably Shouldn't Have. And I loved that book, but I do not own it. I brought it from the library. But anyway, I'm excited to read this book. I know it's a series. Then we have Wicked by Gregory Maguire. This is the first book in its Wicked series. I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. So it's really good. It's based on Alphaba, the Wicked Witch, and Glinda. So yeah. And then we have Ink right here by Amanda Sun. I got this book from Pearl Canteen also, but I didn't get to read it yet for some reason. It sounds sort of interesting. It's like a, I think it takes place in Japan, which sounds really cool. And then up here we had the first two books in the thought list showed you by S.C. Stevens. I believe this is a new adult trilogy. I don't have the third book. Um, I read the, I read the beginning, the first couple of chapters, and it was pretty good. I think it's gonna be a love triangle. It's, it's, I don't know, it just sounds really good. So if you guys are into a new adult, you guys would probably like this. So, oh, I, didn't know, I haven't read it yet, but I'm just telling you. I don't have many new adult books right now, so I'm excited to get to these. Then up here we have... Uglies by Scott Westerfeld, which is the first book in the Ugly series, and I'd never read it yet, but my sister read it years ago, and she loved it, so, um, I want to read it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna move these books over so you guys can see what's behind here. So down here we have Rules of Attraction by Simone Alvarez, and that is the second book in the Perfect Chemistry trilogy. Then right here we have Breathe by Sarah Crossan. This is supposed to be a dystopian novel. It sounded really interesting. It's about like this. I think it's about like how like there's like no oxygen in the world, so people die because they can't breathe. I don't even remember what this is about anymore. Then we have Poem by Amy Carter. I got this book from Carla Contain too. I'm not sure if I'm gonna read it because. It sounds like it's like really high dystopian and um I'm not too big on dystopian honestly because for some reason whenever I read dystopian I just can't get into them or I don't like them. So I don't know if I'm gonna read this anytime soon. You know I heard good things about it. Then up here we have I Remember by Jessica Brody. This book sounds really, really good. It's it's about a girl, I think she like survives a plane crash and she can't remember stuff. It sounds really good and I love books about amnesia and memory loss, so I hope I like it and I think it's going to be a trilogy. Then here we have Renegade by J.A. Soders. It's like this cool underwater dystopian, so it sounds pretty cool. Then we have A Poseidon by Anna Bakes. I read the beginning of this book and it was pretty good. It's a trilogy and it's basically about... I think it's about mermaids. Um, yeah. I think it's about mermaids or sirens, so it sounds really good. I'm trying to read more mermaid books. Then next we have Dorothy Must Die by Daniel Page. I really want to read this book because I love The Wizard of Oz and it sounds like a dark, creepy, dystopian version. And yeah. I've heard some good things about it. Actually, I heard mixed things about it, but yeah. Sounds good. Then we have Captivate right here by Carrie Jones and this Captivate right here. This is the sequel to Need, which is right here. I got the second book because I found out my used books were for a dollar with Need. So I thought it was, they were a dollar each. I thought I should just get them. And so right here, um, this is a new book I recently got on Book Outlet and so is this one. These books have been on my TBR list forever and I'm so excited to finally read them. So first we have Unearthly by Cynthia Han. And it's really, it sounds really good, it's about angels. I have never read angel books before, but I really want to. And then we have Starcross by jo Josephine Angelini. And I heard that book is really good too. I, I know it has Greek mythology in it, and so yeah. Okay guys, so that was, this was my TBR shelf, I know. It's a lot of books, but I will get to these books eventually.